Once word of Patrick Henry and the Virginia Resolves spread to Boston, Samuel Adams and the Loyal Nine started taking active steps to nullify the Stamp Act. In just months, Samuel Adams and the Loyal Nine were able to activate large groups of people against the Stamp Act. On August 14, 1765, a huge group hung from a Liberty Tree, an effigy of Andrew Oliver, the appointed Stamp Act distributor for Massachusetts. The crowd was so large that government officials were afraid to do anything about it. The people then cut the effigy down and started out on a mock funeral procession, chanting the slogan, Liberty, Property, and No Stamps. They beheaded the effigy in front of Oliver's home, took it to the top of a hill, stamped it, and then burned it in a huge bonfire. The governor ordered the militia to sound the alarm, but so many drummers were part of the protests that nothing happened. The next day, a group personally visited Oliver to pressure him into resigning. And they planned to do the same with any replacement. This would make it impossible to distribute any stamped paper, and the Stamp Act would become unenforceable. What's important to note here is that even though this was considered extremely radical, there was almost no opposition to it from the people of Boston. This is because Adams and the Loyal Nine spent two months rallying support from merchants and the general public. And on Guy Fawkes Day that year, just four days after the Stamp Act went into effect, a celebration was held because the Stamp Act was still not being enforced. Adams helped expand this group into the Sons of Liberty, which were soon replicated in the other colonies. We'll cover that next. 